Well, good morning. Good morning. I see the rabbit out there. You see a rabbit? No. Oh, no. Cottontail. Yeah. Okay. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to put up a little video with Yev uh, and his solar design right. for setting his solar panels up on his bus. This is a young couple that we met at uh, um, Schooly Palooza. Mm -hmm. And we really like like them. They're just a sweet couple. So he had some ideas and I wanted to share those with you. Uh, some of you might uh, decide that you'd like to do something similar. So here yeah. you go. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, it's Yev and Sarah. Yev and, and Sarah. And they're from Chicago, although Yev is originally from Russia. Right. And he assures us he's not here to interfere in our election. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. Just ignore that I said that. Yeah, that's what he said, though. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> He's, they're a great couple, and we enjoyed meeting them, and we enjoyed this unique design for the solar panels, for sure. Yes, we did. Enjoy. Okay, this is Yev, and he has a super great invention here. Tell so, us about it. Hey, Jim. So, well, welcome on top of my bus. <laughs> so, good luck with the rest of Unfortunately, I did the roof raise before I put in the solar panels, right? So then when I got the solar panels, I realized that I need to fit them somehow. And this was the solution of the necessity. So this is the solar array. Um, originally, it started with four panels. Now it's six panels. But as you can see, there's uh, channels here. So the panels just travel in and out and then the inner panels go this so when they all stack together it's just two stacks of three right um, and another neat feature of this setup is that it goes up and down so you can get the maximum efficiency oh yes from the sunlight and it's actually very ingenious so this is like an it really this guy is a genius oh you said ingenious yeah i guess i am <laughs> I, you know i was looking at a lot of different things and then i came up upon this uh, tractor jack. So this is an ATV jack, tractor jack. You can get them on Amazon. They're like 80 bucks. If you sign up for the, their card, it's free because they give you the points. So I got it for free. So is, you extended the arms. Right. Okay. So over here is the original piece that we cut off. And then... Um, the piece, the cross piece is the original piece. Original piece. Uh, already up there, the one in the middle. Yep. Okay. And um, over here is just uh, aluminum uh, square tubing. It was slightly modified. Um, I had my friend do this uh, TIG weld because this is a structural TIG weld and I'm right. a hobbyist. So I didn't want to mess around with it. But yeah, we just cut it with the angle grinder, opened it up, filled it in. So when you're traveling, Yev, it's like having one panel. It's just one panel wide because of the, the way they pull in, right? Right. And they're stacked three high. Yep. And then it comes down. So how do you attach them when they get when they get down here? So um, ratchet straps. So you know I wrap. Okay. So the the two panels when they the panels when they come to the stacks, I take this one, I wrap around so they all stay together. Okay. The lower set, same thing, and then the third set, I wrap around here. Around this. Here, okay. And, and there. Here. And, and then over the top. Secure. So I'm okay. going to show you how. It goes up and down. So it, everything in this process is fairly manual. Um, so you know. Oh, by the way, I love this guy, guys. <laughs> he is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. So you know, this is just your regular bottle jack. Uh -huh. You know, you uh, you tighten up your um, hydraulic fluid. Um, usually, I give a couple of pumps up, so we can release the safety. Okay, uh, right, because you got the safety there drop drop it in and then uh, you know we'll start slowly releasing the hydraulic fluid so it will start going down uh -huh. and uh, you know it is kind of tight as you could see that it's the aluminum rod aluminum against aluminum will gald a little bit so it doesn't slip as easy right but that's not a problem it's not a problem and of course uh, right before it before I go back, um, and you just you routed right out of a square tubing is what of, you did. Out of the original one before I didn't. Have no, on those. the sides. This is just aluminum tubing. Yep. And you just routed a slot. 
Yep, milled out the, the slot. Right, milled out a slot, and then you have a, an aluminum rod that goes into that. Correct. Yeah, okay. And um, originally, it's almost like a bench press weight. You know, there was a lot of weight, and the rod was by itself, so it was bowing. So, so I The added, square tubing over it, yes. So I added the square tubing over it to keep it a little bit more straight. Right. So, you know, usually the way it goes down, I give it a couple of taps. And... So if you designed it with like a wheel on the end, oh, that was easy. That wasn't hard at all. And then here it goes down. So That's it, awesome. So now it's all flat, and these slide right in, and then you just wrap your your uh, all the way around it because you've got plenty to hook onto. Yep. That is great. And so when it's when you're traveling, it's secure. There's no yep. rattling or. And then if it's a high wind, like we're from Chicago, uh, what you know. Because it's a giant sail, essentially. When it's right, up. right. All I do is I just drop it down and leave it like that, and then when it wind comes down, then I go up. Jack it back up. Back up. Right. So and then yeah, to go back up, it's pretty easy. You know, you lock in your hydraulic bottle and start pumping. Yeah. I usually give it a little spot, you know, so to that get way it started. Does because so, the hardest place is right when it starts anyway. Right, and there's a lot of flexing going on, so as long as right. it, it doesn't... How pretty it goes. Maybe I should put some wax in there. Yeah, Vaseline or something. Okay. Oh, I'm leaking. I hope you're leaking a little bit. I think I, maybe I got a little. Here, you can hold this up for it to. I will just drop it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, well, your little. Uh, maybe it's the Chinese bottle jack that says, I don't want to work with you anymore. <laughs> so, so. The design is, is wonderful. Yep, it's, and obviously, like, if this breaks down, this is like, what, five? Ten dollar part. Yeah, it's but you can always put a little it. bottle jack in there. That's cheap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think this one is like one ton. You know where you. Right. So you might bottle. put a little fatter bottle jack in yep. there. Make the difference. Uh huh. See if she'll go. Yep. Oh. It's pulling now. There it goes. That's just about it. That's it. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome, Yev. Then, Thank you for showing that to me. And then... Just tighten it up so it doesn't bleed off. There you go. That's it. And then release it so it locks into the slot so right. it's all safe. And uh, we have 95% efficiency. Oh, wow. For two, three hours out of the day. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, man. It's just, that is a fantastic idea. Thanks, Jim. I think it's great. So, yeah. That's, uh, and then these, you, you uh, fasten these, I see, right into your hat channel, uh, your rails. Correct. On your hat channel, each, each so place. So, originally, I had my, pl uh, my, my panel sitting, I guess, what, horizontal way? Uh-huh. And they were attached to these guys. Uh-huh. And... They stuck way out, probably. They stuck way out, and the fourth panel was sitting in an angle and there was no real good way to secure it to here because so, so you were i understand that you were getting uh really good though with the sun you were getting really good reception yep. here and those not much yep that was the learning curve I was like oh i i think all of them need to be uh, yeah <laughs> play it up so. well i think it's a marvelous idea i think you did a great job on it and probably at some point maybe a little rollers in there boy it'll be smooth as butter yep um although you know, there's everything for a reason. So sometimes when you loosen this guy up, and a little tap makes it easier to right. Then it just control to go down uh, go instead down of so fast. Like, right. So, that makes that makes so, sense. You know, you fix so one it's thing a, and create It's a safety problem. factor, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> so it, it all miraculously works out like that. So there's um about like a a quarter inch gap in between these uh, uh, channels. They're aluminum an eighth inch, inch uh, channel and I found them at a metal supermarket so it's a pretty standard size for the solar panels to 
glide in them. Okay. So that, you know, sure. When they got stacked together, the quarter inch have just enough clearance for all the wires to go safely without right through them uh, without pinching or anything. Without pinching yeah. or anything. So that's that awesome. That was another, you know, lack of a draw during the design. You know, sometimes when we um, building these things. Like, we always need a little bit of luck, you know, and that's how it all plays out. You know, you put the hard work and there's always a cherry on top in the end, right? As long right. as you, you know, keep the right attitude. <laughs> so, I think it was uh, maybe Thomas Edison that said he was inventing the light bulb. And they said to him, uh, oh, so you had, because he had 10,000 uh, experiments written in his book. And the guy who was interviewing him said, oh, you had 10,000 failures. And he said, no, none of them were failures. I just found 10,000 ways it wouldn't work. That's right. <laughs> so, and you know, building school buses, that's like the, I call it the, you know, same, the three times the charm is the first time you fail, the second time you learn, and the third time you improve and right. do it right. So, Absolutely. And that's the way this whole, process works it's well thank you for showing us this this is great it's just a super idea i think it's awesome so thanks again yep thanks jim thanks for coming up to my bus oh. <laughs> rule. i have been shooting with the drone some but it's kind of neat to look off here isn't it And it's there every direction. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if a guy wants ideas, if he can just take the time to go through these buses, there's every idea you can imagine. And if they have a good attitude, they all get a tip. Or what not? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? What's going on?